Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us at BSO 2022. I'm delighted to um, welcome all of you to the conference. I'm about to just share my screen so we can go through some of my thoughts and, and where we are. So here it is. I'm hoping everybody can, can see this. <clears throat> so um, firstly, I'd just like to thank our sponsor, IES, uh, for sponsoring the conference. Uh, they've been an absolutely brilliant uh, set of people to work with, and um, uh, they've been actually very involved uh, in the setup and the running of the conference, and you'll see that in a minute. Um, so let's just see uh, where we are and how we got here. So this is a potted history. Uh, of of the conference and it's actually taken us about five years in a way to get here in 2017 uh, a controversial paper was published uh, by a colleague here at Bath David Coley um, around the topic of our modelers literate and sometime in 2019 Peter DeWilder who I believe is in the audience at the moment um, was at Bath uh, on other business and he and I got talking and Peter raised the question of whether Bath would like to host uh, BSO uh, at some point in the future. And, and, the, and the paper came up in the conversation. And so immediately we had this thought that maybe there's, there's sort of ingredients for a robust debate. Um, and we've kind of carried that thought with us uh, over the last few years. And of course, in 2020, we had BSO 2020 at Loughborough, but also we had a whole bunch of other things going on. Um, a lot of extreme climate events, um, energy shortages, and which has only got exacerbated now. Um, lots of issues around equity, um, things like Black Lives Matter uh, and those sorts of issues. And of course, um, the wonderful pandemic, uh, which was running for um, a few years, it still is ostensibly. Um, so we had all these variants and towards the end of 2021, uh, uh, at which point we were really hoping to have done this in person, um, Omicron hit us uh, and we decided it was too risky uh, to run a, a sort of in-person conference because at that point, it still wasn't very clear how uh, the pandemic would develop. And of course, over the last few months, I've really gone back and forth thinking we should have, you know, uh, done this virtually or should we continue to do this uh, in person? Uh, but I'm glad to report in a strange way, um, partly because of all the snow and ice that's outside my window at the moment and the train strikes, that even if we had agreed to do this in person, uh, many of you might not have actually managed to make it to Bath uh, uh, at the moment. So here we are in 2022 uh, with BSO. And in this period of this four or five years, because of all the things that have happened and looking at where the Global South is headed, both in terms of the expansion of the built floor space in the next 30 odd years, uh, which is absolutely enormous, and the sort of special situation that exists in the Global South uh, with respect to uh, when we talk about uh, modelers or um, people in our industry. So access to models, access to data, access to skills. And so the, the, the challenges of uh, modeling and simulating buildings or at urban scale or at building scale or even at human scale, are vastly different, uh, I would suggest, compared to other parts of the world that where these particular challenges don't necessarily present themselves. So it's a rapidly changing landscape, and we thought it was time for uh, the BSO series to pay a little bit of attention to this. So the special focus is Global South. So what do we have in store for today? Immediately uh, after this session, uh, this is a very short session, just 15 minutes, as soon as it finishes, we will head straight into Rajan Rawal's keynote, which is titled A Long Obedience. Um, I think he's going to tell you uh, more about what the title means, 
Uh, so maybe I'll leave it with him. But all, I can say that it is based on the title of a book, a very famous book. OK. Um, and immediately after Rajan will be Wolfgang Kessling uh, from Transola, uh, who is uh, who's chosen the title BSO in the Global South. Who needs it anyway? OK. Uh, and Rajan, of course, sorry, I didn't mention Rajan is uh, from SEPT, uh, one of the absolutely fantastic institutions in India. Uh, and he's a full professor there. And Wolfgang is a practicing um, consultant uh, at Transola. After the keynotes, there'll be a short break and we will move into the parallel sessions. Uh, and each of them is thematic. And we have session chairs. I, I haven't listed all the papers, but you will have known the details uh, on the uh, website. And as you move into the sessions, you will see which papers are appearing. Um, and if you don't know which papers are appearing, please just go to the website and see the list of titles. There are some fantastic papers uh, we are expecting to hear from. Some of these are, um, I think, pre-recorded because of IT issues. People have chosen to not uh, tempt fate, uh, but many are also live. So it's a mix of pre-recorded and live sessions, but all the speakers are absolutely available live and they will be interacting with you um, uh, through voice and video uh, throughout, the, uh, throughout the conference. Okay, so the session on energy is chaired by Rokaya Ruslan, who's at UCL. Uh, the session on urban studies is uh, chaired by uh, Tristan Kershaw, who also wears another hat in the conference as the scientific chair uh, for the conference. And the third uh, parallel session today is on case studies, which is uh, being chaired by Professor Jacques Lopscher, who's based at uh, Chwane University of Technology in South Africa, and who's one of the keynote speakers tomorrow morning. And this had to happen, the fireworks uh, and who knows all kinds of um, violent um, things might happen because we've got a debate. Um, as I promised, we had this idea of having this debate four or five years ago, and it's, uh, it's real today. Um, so David Coley, um, who wrote that famous or perhaps infamous paper, uh, will be speaking for the motion, building energy models are not literate. And Annie Marston, who's uh, based at Resustain, will be speaking against the motion. And you will see the format for the debate when you join that particular session. And I will briefly introduce what the format for the debate is. It promises to be an absolutely uh, riveting session. So please do join us for that at the appropriate time. Tomorrow, we have an early start, uh, and the early start is to do with our research showcase. Uh, there are five fantastic speakers. Oh, okay, four, if you exclude me. Uh, there are at least four fantastic speakers uh, who are going to present to you some research done on the DSD UKRI funded projects as, as an Indo UK research projects, the, the total value of these projects, I think is close to 4 million pounds. So they're really quite um, large undertakings. And we thought this would be a good way to showcase the sorts of work that um, we can do across international boundaries and especially India as a, as a great case study for the Global South itself. Okay, uh, and after that, we return to our normal sort of timing, uh, much like today. And we will begin with Anna, Paula Melo from Brazil, uh, who is uh, talking about energy efficiency and resiliency of buildings in Brazil. So that's our first fantastic keynote speaker tomorrow morning, uh, and followed by Jacques Lobscher, as I mentioned earlier, who will be talking about simulation and optimization without beaks. Um, and these are not bird beaks, um, although birds will actually feature at some point in this conference, watch out for it, um, but actually to do with building energy efficiency codes uh, and rating systems and things like that. So we're really looking forward to both of those keynotes. Um, and Anna has is kindly uh, um, offered to chair the modeling and simulation parallel session, which follows her keynote. Um, and uh, alongside of that, Raj Seker, who's one of the co-speakers on the research showcase will be 
chairing the parallel session on IEQ, internal environmental quality. And finally, the prime in, uh, uh, instigator, Peter de Wilder uh, from Strathclyde will be chairing the machine learning and optimization uh, parallel session. And last, but definitely not the least, we will be having um, uh, Niall from uh, IES speaking about the future of simulation and optimization. This is really a, a wonderful opportunity to hear directly from our colleagues in industry, one of the key players in the modeling and simulation world uh, on how they see the future trajectory of modeling and uh, simulation and optimization uh, moving forward over the next uh, few years. And he also has the privilege of presenting the awards for the best uh, papers, which is best of BSO 2022 and best paper uh, allied to the special focus theme of the Global South. So please do join us for uh, that last, uh, and as I say, definitely not the least session. Okay, so I think um, we just got a little bit of housekeeping and then I'm going to uh, hand over. So if you haven't figured it out yet, every session is on a different link. So you actually need to leave the room as you might have done uh, in an in-person conference and then move to the next link. If you are presenting, you should have received via email uh, a special link which actually gives you higher level privileges um, in the session, which is uh, being able to present, have your video on, audio on, and all the rest of it. But every session will have its Q&A channel where you can ask questions. Please post questions there. The channel is being monitored uh, by my colleagues and myself. And audio is possible in plenary and in maybe in the parallel sessions is really at the discretion of the session moderator, but it'll be primarily driven by uh, text-based Q&A just to keep things nice and smooth and we don't sort of run into strange um, issues with the IT or um, you know, overly long uh, sessions because we've got quite tight timings. So with that, uh, I'd like to thank uh, the people who've been working tirelessly behind the scenes. Um, Mariana Lucero from IES, who's, um, uh, whose intervention uh, resulted in the sponsorship, which was fantastic. Peter de Wilder for instigating the conference and for his continued support. Clarice for many thought-provoking um, discussions. Uh, I don't think Clarice is able to join us uh, uh, because she's had some commitments at Cardiff. Rakaya and Anna from UCL, absolutely uh, massive support. Tristan, of course, as the chair uh, of the conference. Um, he's done tireless work in the, uh, behind the scenes. Nick McCullen, who helped set up the IT with Easy Chair and the rest of it, and Diane Bumowick also at UCL. But the real stars are Ranjit from Design Builder, who's uh, responsible for all the communications and um, uh, the news posts and things you've seen on social media. Isha Rator, who many of you would have contacted, has been uh, responsible for the website and a lot of the back-end organization and really wouldn't be possible without uh, Ranjit and Isha to be here today. And finally, Alan Houston and the IT team at the University of Bath, who've uh, helped keep all of this lubricated. Uh, thank you to, uh, to all of you as well. 